So this is the bottom half of the original bike carrier. And basically you put one bike on this platform and it was towards the back of it. Then you had some legs. Then you had another platform which you put the second bike on. And they both folded up laying on their side. And um, the whole thing pulls out to the edge of the tailgate. But putting the bike on, it, the bike was still a foot away from the edge of the tailgate. Um, and it was just heavy lifting because you had to lift the whole bike in and put it on the back. And it was just too much work. And I got disgusted with it, deleted all the footage, didn't bother. I thought I was going to scrap the whole thing. Um, here you can see the runners and how long they are. And say so they pulled out right out to the edge of the tailgate. But, right, this is the old frame from the Mark 1 bike rack, which, and I honestly can't remember what I have and haven't filmed and how much of the first version I filmed. Drive away, they stacked on top of one another, laying flat, um, and it was just going to break my back lifting those bikes in like that. But it wasn't going to work with the roller draw and all that kind of stuff, but either either. So these are the back mounts which were just tacked on because I never finished it and you can see they bolt to the tying eyes in the back of the pickup. So I'm not going to use that part but I'm going to use one of these legs because it's lengthwise and I'm going to mount it upright like it's sitting now in the back. So I'm going to take some measurements off them, because I know they fit, and then I'm going to cut that to size. So this first video is mainly about the mechanism which bolts to the tailgate, and it pushes the bikes in and out. Um, and these are the, the main bars which do all the work. Um, the video is pretty much self-explanatory, but... Um, I'll just let you watch and um, I'll just put the other comment up. Again, as always, plenty of information in the description below. Make a comment, let me know what you think. So I've got the joint just temporarily assembled with just a bolt rather than the stud that I'm going to use. And I've lined this up with the channel. I'm just going to do a quick test just to make sure. I've put a mark on here where I'm going to be drilling and putting a bolt hole. So for now, if I can hold it there in place. Yeah, that's working. Okay.
almost. Almost did it wrong. Like I said, so I've got the framework in place, hinge bolt mechanism, and you can see the step. So this one, when it twists up, doesn't collide with the frame. And I've got it at the moment lined up. If you can get it there with that bit of wood, it's just sitting in the channeling, just sitting in one of these. So that squares it all up. Sorry about the geese being noisy in there. And I've just, don't know if you can see down there or not, probably not, but there. Just put a drill down there and put a centre. I'm going to drill that and tap this into the metal. It's not very thick, but it should just be able to get a thread in there. So that's the next step, but I'm going to do this off because I don't want any swarf getting down in here in the tailgate. So that's my next step. Now I'm just trying to make up my mind whether to make a slider. This a bit of, it's got burrs on it, so this isn't ideal. Slider. Could even be wood to be fair. And whether that would that would be something like this that would work. I've got, some, I've got two bearings like that. But I don't know. I mean, obviously the sliders are dependent on crap and dirt getting in here. And the bearings won't be sort of damaging to the tray. A bit undecided. I think I might go with the bearings because it would be easy enough to change them for a sliding mechanism if I didn't like it. It didn't work very well. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Bearings. Oh, 
works nicely. Obviously there's going to be a wheel at this end when it's done, once the length is set. But that's looking pretty good as it is. So what I've done is I've just basically marked off down there, you can see on the bottom of this tube a line going down and a line across and that's basically where the bike is sitting at the moment. Now obviously when I put the bracket in for it, it wants to be sported up a little bit further but not by a great deal. So that's basically the next step. Well in fact no, the next step is to put a wheel on the bottom because this is about the right length I reckon. And um, I've got to put a wheel on the bottom because it's actually starting to dig in the tray. Mm -hmm. So I've got my second bearing, and this is what they came out of. I'm one for reusing everything I can, recycling what I can, and you, you've seen a lot of that. But basically, it's a, a roller bearing, and I've just cut off the plastic to reveal the inner. So I had two of those. Um, actually they've come from different places, different items. Uh, this one was a rib belt tensioner but looking at it, it looked identical and I think obviously they come out of the same factory because they are identical. So yeah that was for a flat belt and this one was for uh, a ribbed belt but Say so, same bearing. What's also rather fortuitous, and I sort of did pick that bearing because I thought it was going to be working out the right size, is that it is actually narrower than the middle of the tube by mm, about a millimetre and a half, maybe two mil at the most. So I can drill through this, uh, scallop out the end, and then just leave them as a couple of fingers. Uh, maybe a couple of washers on the inside. So the next thing is just to, to cut out this. I might drill the holes first. Actually, I'll drill the holes first and then cut the top and bottom out so it can bolt in. Now I've decided that where I'm going to cut up here with the angle grinder, I could do it with a mill. Yeah, no, I'm going to do that with the mill. I'm going to machine that out with the mill. Because what I was just about to say is that obviously it's going to leave a, a sharp 90 degree there and then I'm going to have to bend this out of the way and then cut it off and I was going to drill a hole in the 
corner with, we'll bring it down into shot, a 6mm drill bit, but I might as well just do it with a mill, down, cross, back, do it with a mill, winging it. Thank you.